Making rope out of grass can be a useful skill in survival situations or when you need a simple cordage for various purposes. Here's a basic method you can follow to make grass rope. Materials needed. Long, sturdy grass. Scissors or a sharp knife, optional. A sturdy surface to work on. Step 1. Gathering and preparing the grass start by finding an area with abundant long and sturdy grass. Look for grass that is flexible and has long blades. Avoid brittle or dry grass, as it may not hold together well. You can use your hands to gather the grass, or you can use scissors or a sharp knife to cut the grass close to the ground. Step 2. Removing seeds and flowers Once you have gathered the grass, inspect each blade and remove any seeds, flowers, or other obstructions. These can interfere with the rope making process and weaken the final product. Step 3. Splitting the grass into thin strips to create the individual strands for your rope, you'll need to split the grass blades into thin strips. Hold one end of a grass blade firmly between your fingers and use your other hand to strip away the outer layers of the grass. This process will leave you with a thin strip of grass. Repeat this process for several grass blades until you have enough strips to work with. Step 4. Twisting the grass strips Now it's time to twist the grass strips to increase their strength and cohesion. Take two or three grass strips and hold them together at one end. Twist them tightly in one direction until they begin to coil upon themselves. This will help the strands stay together. Step 5. Starting the braiding process Divide the twisted grass strips into three equal sections. Hold one section in each hand and let the third section hang in the middle. Cross the right section over the middle section, then cross the left section over the new middle section. Repeat this process, always crossing the right section over the middle and the left section over the new middle. Make sure to keep the strands tight as you go. Step 6. Adding more grass strips and continuing the braid to make your rope longer and thicker, you'll need to periodically add more grass strips to each section as you braid. To add a new strip, overlap the ends of the old and new strips and continue braiding. This technique is called splicing and will seamlessly integrate the new grass strip into the existing rope. Continue the braiding process, always crossing the right section over the middle and the left section over the new middle. Step 7. Finishing the rope Once you've reached the desired length or have run out of grass, it's time to finish the rope. You can secure the ends of the rope by knotting them together or by twisting the ends and tucking them into the rope itself. Experiment with different methods to find one that works best for your needs. Remember, the strength and durability of grass rope may vary depending on the type of grass used. Some grasses may produce stronger ropes than others. It's a good idea to experiment with different grasses to find the most suitable option for your specific needs.